All right, my friends, it's Gary Dean in Tampa, Florida, detailjuice.com. I just finished up this BMW X5M and I noticed this big, ooh, just noticed that ding right there, but notice this big nasty scratch. Goes all the way along the door comes up and then there is another one right there I don't know if you can see that but there you go so I'm shooting with my GoPro Hero 4 session there's another part of it right there so not the the best camera in the world by any means but it works Anyway, so I'm working on this uh, BMW X5M. Notice the scratches. I showed the owner. Scratches are an awesome way to basically upsell your services. Uh, if you are skilled in removing scratches and you know what you're doing, it's definitely a way to make a, I wouldn't say a quick buck, but it's definitely a way to upsell and make some good money. Now, what I specialize in is fixing problems, not covering them up. With saying that, I also am not dumb and I trust my gut to tell me when I should stop. I mean, you guys have seen other videos where I've removed scratches and definitely gotten a lot out, but you can go too far in a second and then have to pay to have a panel repainted. Nobody has time for that, and I'm in business to make money, not to pay some pay for damage that I created. So what I'm getting at is scratches are definitely an awesome way to upsell uh, if you know what you're doing. I am about to show you how I'm going to go about removing that scratch. Uh, one way you can tell whether or not it's going to be worth your time to try to remove a scratch, uh, well, without wet sanding, uh, and just going ahead and compounding, then polishing the area, and then putting some protection back over it, um, is the thumbnail test. Now, if you take your thumbnail, and you can feel the scratch in your thumbnail, then that's how you know it's really bad. Now, I can tell you that this doesn't feel really bad. Um, in fact, some of that is going to be just a scuff, but I can see some scratches in the clear coat for sure. Like this right here, um, a lot of that is a scratch. And then the one that's up here is definitely a scratch. Uh, I did a video a little while back where I removed some nasty scratches from this quarter panel. And the way he has the vehicle parked in his garage, his kids have those scooters and they rub against the car, which it's an expensive car. I mean, it's a brand new X5M. And like I said, the most important lesson here, not only of me showing you how I would go about, about handling that, is when you do a detail, if you let the customer know about scratches or make them aware of it, they will most likely ask you if you can fix it. Now, in the case of this, and realistically, you're not gonna spend more than probably 30 minutes messing with the scratch. In fact, set up fixing the scratch and tearing everything back down and putting it away shouldn't take me more than 15 minutes to fix those scratches. You wanna minimize them while preserving the structural integrity of the clear. That's what's most important. So do as much as you can per your gut. It most likely will look a lot better and make the customer happy. Removing deep scratches is not always a great idea. Well, the, the attempt at removing them is generally not a great idea. Once I start in, I'll get a, actually after the first pass with infinite cut, I'll have a good idea of what I'm working with because I know my compound very well. Um, so I'm going to get started with that, see where we're at, and then go from there. I want my, my goal, be, especially if you pay attention to your clients and you, you learn how picky they are or not, uh, 
you'll understand what level you need to achieve to make that customer happy. And that's what this is all about. I preach it all the time, making the customer happy, not yourself as a detailer, because you'll never make any money. So I'm gonna get my equipment out, Harbor Freight DA, uh, four inch orange buff and shine pad and infinite cut. Start with that and we'll see where we go. Scratch is all gone, looks amazing. Now on to the Ferrari. So, 813-846-4406. If you are in the middle of something, want some help with your detailing endeavor, I'm your guy. I can help you through that. Check out detailjuice.com. If you got questions, 813-846-4406. Thank you guys for listening to me babble. On every one of these videos, I hope, I hope that you learn something every time you watch a video from me. Uh, and if I can help you with any of your detailing endeavors, let me know. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day.